Hello guys, I'm So Cosplay and I'm going to show you everything about my Ariana cosplay. I'm working on some uh, improvements, just like repainting and stuff, so uh, it won't be perfect, but you'll understand the culture of nice. So yeah, I'm going to show you how the skirt is moving, how the ball is moving, uh, and how the key on the back is moving. I'm going to put every references of mortars and everything I bought for this cosplay down below on the description so you know everything about it. So just a quick setup about everything. Uh, the key is only working with the battery and a motor, uh, whereas the skirt and the ball are moving with an Arduino. I'm going to explain really quickly what is Arduino. Uh, it's an open source platform that enables users to create electronic objects. Uh, it's mostly used as prototyping, but for what we do as code players, it's more than enough. So the skirt is divided in two parts. The first one is this. They are motors, three of them, uh, wheels, three of them also, uh, two batteries, because uh, one is for the Arduino and the other for the motor shield. The other part is this, the actual skirt. Uh, it's made out of fabric, some velcro because that's how I attach uh, all of the pieces around, you know, gold, yeah. And inside it's... Not only fabric. Uh, I wanted it to be like pretty hard because it had to turn, so it couldn't be only fabric. Uh, I made some kind of framework for it with foam, one centimeter foam, and a metallic green all around. The most important part of the skirt is the white thing here. Uh, this is 3D printed all around. I made them with the help of Philip and Sarah. Thank you. Imagine uh, it's like a train rail. I'm calling this the rail of the skirt. Uh, the wheels go there when they are like on my body. On the outside, it's like this. And on the inside, it's like that. I think you, you can understand. When I'm wearing this, it has to fit on you. Like, you see that I'm not struggling, but it's not easy to put on. Uh, and this is really not easy to put on. Like, okay, I am a contortionist and I am putting it on. Okay, it's on. Um, this here, here, is powering uh, the motor shield, no, it's powering the Arduino, my bad. And this is powering the shield, and uh, nothing is working if the shield isn't powered, and vice versa for the Arduino. It's holding by the harness. And uh, the wheels are moving and allowing everything to turn. So I'm going to demonstrate how it works. Why are the motors turning kind of weird? It's because the Arduino allows me to say in which way I want them to turn and how fast I want them to turn. I don't think I can say much more about the skirt. Uh, I demonstrated everything I needed to do. Um, I'm going to show you the, the key on the back. In theory, the key is really easy to, to work. It's just like this piece, go on this. This is a motor with a wheel that is trapped inside a warbler. There's a lot of warbler, so I put a 
a piece of foam, not to hurt. There's a wire going inside all the way here. This is just a 9 volt battery. Okay. And it turns. See? So you have your key, you have your breastplate or whatever, and you're just shoving it in. Like so. Eh. And it turns! Yay! And it's just turning, like turning. Okay? <laughs> Last but not least, I'm going to show you how the ball is working. So, the ball. Three parts. One. A two. A three! Because it had to move separately, I made two parts. And those two parts are moving. And this one is not. The ball is made with styrene foam. Uh, this is styrene foam, this is styrene foam. Outside there's some warbla and regular craft foam like EVA foam and stuff. They have motors like teeny tiny little motors and a wheel glued to the styrene foam. This one actually has some fabric, like inside it was to balance the whole thing because it had to stay on the bottom. The middle part is uh, mostly styrene foam, uh, craft foam and warbler. This is styrene foam, like you can see it on the inside, and warbler to make it hard. And this is regular EVA foam and warbler to make it hard also. There is a battery, a motor shield that didn't require the, another uh, battery, and an Arduino at the bottom. And a lot of wires going everywhere. The bottom part and the part on the top have those. I found those at Le Roi Merlin, which is a French uh, hardware store. Uh, it's supposedly uh, made for uh, shelves. And uh, yeah, that's not how I used them. You can see that they already had holes in them, like all around. And that's why I bought those, because that's what allowed me to um, put them together. There's also a hole in this piece going through and through like you can see here and on the inside. So I'm going to wire everything then it goes through the middle part. You wire it like the top and you are going to put it here you need a metallic road so that everything is secure okay now your ball can turn. So now to turn it on, you have the batteries in here. You have to put your hand inside, flip the button, and there it goes. Like, kind of wobbly, but it's because otherwise uh, everything wasn't turning properly. So it had to be like with some ease. Uh, yeah. 
the way to uh, remove everything is the same process. You remove the metallic road. You kind of shake everything to make the bottom part loose. You remove the first wire. Same thing here. You shake it, put your finger under, and pull really gently, and you remove the wire. So, I don't think I have anything left to show you. I hope it was helpful and you learned things. Don't hesitate to show me what you make uh, in the comment section down below or on my Facebook page, so go play. And uh, see you next time. Bye! So, you have your key? I have a key. I have a breastplate. Oh, breastplate key!